hi guys so in today's video we're going to look at the changes that we made in version 6 and also i'll be showing you how to update the dependency in your application and lastly to update the classes and functions since some of the functions they are deprecated right so um the first uh, change that they made is the progression mode they have replaced it with a new enum if you haven't watched my video about uh, upgrade and downgrade uh, subscription, please check it out because there's a place where we are using this progression mode. But you can still using it since it's still available. Then the second change is that they have removed the order ID uh, for a pending purchase, right? So um, now these they will create this order ID only if the purchase is uh, the status of the purchase is purchased right so they just want to get rid of this order id for all the pending um, purchases they will only create this order id once the purchase is purchased right the status is purchased and they also remove this query purchase and launch and launch price confirmation flow methods these two methods they are no longer there i'll show you how to update this to the new um query purchase async methods right and they have also added new um a response code so this one is specifically for a network error so i'll be able to show you also how to access this response code in your application right so the other things just removed uh they just removed this service timeout also right yeah so now let's just go to our application and update this dependency to version 6 let's just wait for it to load yeah so it's downloading let's just go to my subscription activity because here that's where i'm using the progression mode so i need to update it since now it's deprecated um let's just go to upgrade and downgrade function so as you can see these two methods they are deprecated these ones and remove this method you just need to remove the skew and be left with purchase token right there and this one now is called set a subscription replacement mode just like that and this one also you need to remove everything from here and write subscription uh, update params dot replace mode dot now they have new uh, uh replace mode option so i always go with the enum which is number five this one charge full price then you can just update that one then the deprecated functions now they are gone save that so if you are still using query purchase it's safe to update it to purchase async so usually we use that function whenever we are querying on our splash screen whenever we want to check if the user has uh, um, a purchase that they own then if they have a purchase that they own then we need to activate it back to them usually it's um, the non-consumable um, products right so we need to go to where we are checking the subscription on the billing then we need to change this one from um, the query purchases to query purchases async that's it to this function right here so yeah that's basically it so about the the billing response that one is very easy to go about it if you want to use it come here for an example if you want to check if 
uh, the billing result get is equals to uh, from the billing client uh, access the billing response code then now you'll be able to see the network uh, uh, error network this one then now you can just be able to check that one here so this one is advisable to use it whenever you want to establish connection right here right so you can also come here and say if let me just remove one equals to there then start the connection on billing setup right so if there's a network connection you just need to write a toast there and notif notify the user right yeah um so that's about it so if you liked the information that i provided to you please consider subscribing and liking the video it means a lot to me and another thing my next video is gonna be on these um transactions right so i've got another video that is coming up that whenever the user they purchase the coins um saving the transactions to firebase so they can log in and log out again and see the total amount they used to spend on these coins and the total number of transactions then they can see the transactions here for more details bye for now